Imagine the year 2026, beginning with a promise no one expected. A Tesla electric car that doesn't focus on extravagance, but on practical intelligence. Instead of sensors that fail in heavy rain or screens that freeze in traffic, the new Tesla Model 2 arrives with an almost subversive proposition. Less is more. While the industry rushes to pile on unnecessary features that impress in the showroom but frustrate in real-world use, Elon Musk decided to follow a path that seems obvious but has been ignored by almost everyone, creating a reliable, simple, durable, and inexpensive car to maintain. And this, in a world increasingly tired of forced upgrades and expensive maintenance, sounds like a silent revolution. What's immediately surprising is how this car was designed. It doesn't have that exaggerated futuristic appeal we see in so many EVs out there. The Tesla Model 2 Senior Edition, as it's informally nicknamed, seems more concerned with being useful than with attracting attention. And look, that's much rarer than it should be. It was designed to work well every day, in the city, on the highway, in the rain or in 40 degree heat. No frills. It's almost as if the car itself is saying, relax, I can handle it. And handling it, in this case, means running efficiently, not breaking down unnecessarily, and costing much less to repair when something inevitably goes wrong. There's something brilliant about simplicity when it's done well. And with this Model 2, you can feel that Tesla didn't want to reinvent the wheel. They wanted to make it more reliable. Instead of putting 15 sensors in every corner of the car, they focused on three main technologies that truly impact the driver's life. That changes everything. You don't get that feeling that you're driving a space command center. You're driving a car that understands your routine and was made to make things easier, not more complicated. It's the kind of decision that shows project maturity, not to impress investors, but to make sense in practice. Another thing that stands out is the price. Tesla has strongly emphasized truly affordable. Dieter, of course, we're still talking about a modern and intelligent car, but the estimated launch price is around $15,000 to $18,000. This finally puts it in the competition with compact combustion engine cars and with an advantage. If the promise of less maintenance, cheaper charging, and a long lifespan is fulfilled, the numbers add up. And they add up beautifully. That's where Tesla's bigger plan starts to become clear. To dominate the mass market, not with luxury, but with logic. Yes, many people doubted it when the first rumors surfaced. Tesla is going to launch a simple car? Without a 20-inch screen? Without 12 cameras? Well, yes. And the most curious thing is that Precisely by abandoning all that exaggeration, the Model 2 became more interesting. It revives that old idea that a car needs to take you from point A to point B safely, comfortably, and efficiently. Only now, with zero emissions, minimalist design, and a technological platform that only kicks in when truly necessary. No need to reinvent the wheel, just delivering the essentials with excellence. Speaking of design, the Model 2 also defies expectations. It's compact, but not cramped. Minimalist, but not bland. Everything about it was designed to last. The materials are resistant. The finishes avoid fragile and complicated parts. And even physical buttons have returned in some places. That's right, buttons in 2026. It sounds like a joke, but it's a relief because sometimes all you want is to adjust the air conditioning without having to open four menus on the central screen while driving. Tesla understood this and listened to what drivers have been asking for years. One detail that few people noticed in the initial leaks is the drastic reduction in reported failures in internal tests. Tesla's own numbers show that the Model 2 has 40% fewer breakdowns than previous models. This is because by reducing sensors, simplifying cables and components, and modularizing critical parts. The car becomes more predictable, easier to diagnose, and faster to repair, and as a consequence, much more reliable in the long run. 
It's one of those rare cases where cutting complexity actually increases quality. When Tesla unveiled the new Model 2 propulsion system, called the Simplified Drive Unit Gen 2, many people scratched their heads. After all, it wasn't exactly the kind of flashy innovation we're used to seeing in the brand's launches, but a closer look at the details revealed that it was serious business. By integrating the motor, transmission, and controller into a single sealed unit, Tesla eliminated the mechanical connections that most often cause problems in previous models. This not only improves durability, but drastically reduces the chance of failures that land the car in the repair shop. It's as if, in 2026, Tesla looked back and said, it's time to stop complicating things. This simplification isn't just aesthetic or technical, it directly affects the driver's wallet. Less mechanical friction means less wear and tear on parts. Fewer loose connections mean less maintenance. With this streamlined structure, the Model 2 can extract more torque and power with less energy loss. And honestly, there's nothing more frustrating than feeling that some of the battery's energy is being wasted on heat, vibration, or unnecessary noise. The driving experience becomes more stable, quieter, and above all, more reliable. It's that good feeling that the car will be there, working, without any drama. Another point that shows how thoughtfully this new motor was designed is the cooling system. The two-loop system is replaced by a single-loop system, and that changes a lot. By concentrating cooling on the components that actually get hot, like the stator and the inverter, the Model 2 avoids wasting energy on parts that don't even need as much care. And this new system uses materials with high thermal conductivity, which keeps the temperature at safe levels even on the most extreme days. No surprises in the scorching summer or freezing winter. The motor adapts and keeps delivering. And the most incredible thing is that, even with this reduction in parts and systems, performance didn't drop. On the contrary, Tesla removed between 30% and 40% of the auxiliary parts that were previously common in powertrains, such as secondary bearings, extra shafts, and unnecessary covers. What remained was only the essentials, stator, rotor, inverter, and a simple transmission. And the result? A lighter, more robust, and quieter motor. It's as if the car breathes better, without carrying dead weight. And this, of course, translates into fuel economy and performance in the real world. Fewer components also means less chance of something breaking. And when maintenance is needed, because it will eventually, the modular model comes into play. Tesla has made each vulnerable part, such as the inverter or the transmission, separate and replaceable. This means that if a module malfunctions, you don't need to replace everything. You just replace the specific part. It's like replacing only the burnt-out outlet and not the entire electrical system of the house. In addition to saving between 25% and 40% on repairs, this speeds up repair time and avoids the headache of being without a car for days because of a silly fault. And let's not forget that this new engine was designed to last. Tesla estimates that it will have a lifespan 20% to 30% longer than models sold between 2018 and 2022. This means fewer visits to the repair shop, less money spent, and more time driving safely. In five years, the average interval between maintenance is 1.5 times shorter. It's the kind of statistic that may seem cold, but it makes all the difference when the car is part of your daily life, especially for those who depend on it to work, travel, or simply live freely. Another great thing is that, with less vibration and less friction, wear and tear on components also decreases. This extends the lifespan not only of the motor, but also of other parts of the car, such as the suspension, wheels, and even the body structure. Accumulated vibration in the long term is one of the great hidden villains of electric vehicles. And Tesla managed to eliminate a good part of this by reducing connections and simplifying stress points. It seems like a technical detail, but in practice, it means less creaking, fewer strange noises, and a greater feeling of solidity in the steering wheel. 
everything that seemed clever about the new Model 2 propulsion unit starts to make even more sense when you look at the path Tesla took with the modularization of the car's most sensitive parts. Instead of tying everything together in a single gigantic and difficult to manipulate block, the engineering was conceived as a system of independent parts, almost like assembly blocks. This completely changes the relationship between the driver and the vehicle because, for the first time in a long time, a high-tech electric car is becoming as easy to repair as a conventional model. And that, in 2026, is almost revolutionary. Traditionally delicate components, such as the inverter and internal gears, have become separate modules that can be removed and replaced without having to disassemble the entire car. In practice, this avoids the absurd situation where a small defect forces the replacement of an entire system. Here, if a part fails, it is identified, removed, and replaced directly. It's that simple. Something that previously cost a fortune and took days of work can now be resolved in a few hours and for a fraction of the price. This philosophy of replacing only what needs replacing drastically reduces the maintenance costs of the Model 2. According to initial estimates, repair costs could be up to 40% lower than in traditional electric projects. And when you add to that the fact that it breaks down less often, it's easy to understand why so many people have started to see the car as a real and affordable alternative. It's no longer just a cheap Tesla. It's a smart Tesla, designed to be truly viable for those who work, deal with traffic every day, and can't live in a repair shop. Another impressive detail is how this modularity simplifies the lives of the technicians themselves. Diagnosis becomes faster, parts are lighter, easier to handle, and don't require the gigantic apparatus of special machines that increase the cost of any type of repair. This means that more workshops will be able to work with this model in the future without exclusive dependence on Tesla. And, to be quite honest, this is a huge step towards making electric cars truly popular. When maintenance is simpler, consumer confidence grows along with it. This change also directly impacts the overall durability of the vehicle. Because each module is designed to withstand high temperatures, vibration, and continuous stress, they have a much longer lifespan. And when a part finally reaches its limit, replacing it doesn't compromise the rest of the car. It's almost like replacing a remote control battery without having to throw away the entire TV. A logical, simple thought that took far too long to become a reality in the automotive industry. Interestingly, by simplifying all of this, Tesla ended up making the car more efficient. With fewer components competing with each other, there is less energy loss, less internal friction, less unnecessary heat, and this translates into better range and better performance in real-world conditions. It's the kind of gain that isn't emblazoned in giant letters in advertising, but completely changes the experience of those who drive every day. And let's face it, in the end, that's what matters most. The Tesla Model 2 continues to surprise when it comes to safety, mainly because it doesn't fall into the trap of unnecessary complexity. While many cutting-edge electric cars rely on an army of cameras, radars, and AI algorithms that look more like a military system than an automotive one, Tesla has taken the opposite approach. And it has done so courageously. The Model 2's detection and braking system works with just three sensors, a low-speed radar, ultrasonic sensors, and a wide-angle camera. And believe me, that's more than enough. In fact, it's even better, precisely because it's simpler. This leaner system avoids the barrage of false alerts that leave the driver stressed and distracted. Instead of creating panic with exaggerated warnings, the Model 2 only alerts when it's truly necessary. And here's one of the most interesting aspects of this whole approach. Fewer sensors mean fewer errors. When there are fewer conflicting data sources trying to interpret what's around the car, the system becomes more reliable. It seems counterintuitive, but it's like cleaning up the noise and leaving only the most important signal. The cost savings in this sector are also noteworthy. 
Replacing sensors in cars with 10 or 12 cameras can cost a small fortune. In the Model 2, however, each individual sensor costs between $100 and $250 to replace, up to five times cheaper than conventional ADAS systems. This translates into a more affordable car to maintain in the long term, reinforcing Tesla's commitment to durability and cost effectiveness. Here, safety isn't just a luxury for those who can afford it. It's part of the basic package. Even though it's simple, the system is comprehensive. The intelligent braking system includes five main functions. Emergency braking assist, electronic brake force distribution, ABS, preloaded brake for immediate response, and automatic low-speed braking. All of this works together to make everyday life safer, especially in common situations like parking, maneuvering in tight garages, or stopping suddenly because of an inattentive pedestrian. And the best part is that it all happens without you even noticing. Another detail that shows how Tesla considered the average user is the car's behavior at low speeds. In this range, the system acts subtly, braking smoothly if it detects dangerous approaches to walls, poles, or other vehicles. There's no sudden jolt that makes you hit your head on the seat. The feeling is that the car understands the environment and behaves naturally. And this, in a model designed for urban use, makes a huge difference in the comfort and confidence of the person behind the wheel. The next step in the Tesla Model 2's architecture is undoubtedly one of the most ingenious parts of the entire project, the new modular battery with aluminum ion cells. Until now, batteries in electric cars have always been a kind of giant black box, expensive, heavy, difficult to repair, and practically disposable in case of a serious defect. But now, in 2026, Tesla has decided to completely change this equation. Instead of a single expensive block, the Model 2 features between 6 and 12 independent modules, like small Lego blocks of energy. Each one can be installed, replaced, or maintained separately, which is a gigantic leap in accessibility and maintenance. This modularity makes life easier for everyone. If a module fails, which can happen after years of heavy use, the technician can replace only that part without affecting the others. This reduces repair costs by up to 60% and, best of all, reduces maintenance time from six hours to two or three. It's the kind of time and money savings that, for those who depend on their car daily, is invaluable. And the most impressive thing is that all this was done without compromising performance or range. On the contrary, the new aluminum ion cells are more resistant, safer, and more stable than traditional lithium cells. Each module is capable of withstanding up to 10,000 charge and discharge cycles while maintaining more than 80% of its original capacity. In practical terms, this represents a battery that can last between 8 and 12 years with reliable performance, even under heavy use. It's a drastic change because it solves that classic fear of electric car owners having to spend a fortune replacing the battery after a few years. With this new solution, the risk is divided among several smaller modules, and the chance of a catastrophic failure 